What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm your co-host, Donovan Quick, and the Dolphins made yet another big splash in free agency, signing Shaq Barrett, uh, formerly of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, the contract details aren't exactly known. If I had to guess, it's a one-year deal, and a lot of people are, are really curious about our comp picks next year. I talked about it a lot in our other videos, how we are projected two-thirds between Christian Wilkins and Robert Hunt, then a fifth and a sixth from Brandon Jones and Andrew Van Ginkle however Brandon Jones and Andrew Van Ginkle they kind of have their comp picks uh, canceled out in the formula because of the signings of our other two linebackers uh, Andrew Walker and uh, and Jordan Brooks so yeah it, it that kind of sucks a little bit so people are wondering if this affects the third rounders at all and it does not because Shaq Barrett was released so I could definitely foresee the Dolphins Continuing this trend of maybe trying to find players that were released, maybe a little bit older, have some left in the tank. Shaq Barrett, 31 years old, probably going to be on a one-year deal here in Miami. And look, he's going to be our starting edge rusher to begin the season. And I don't doubt that we're going to maybe convert Andrew Walker to a little bit of a uh, hybrid outside inside guy. Uh, you know, guys that are going to be cheaper to replace the guys that, you know, are injured and have left. So, you know, as of right now, our top three edge rushers on roster are all hurt. So this brings Shaq Barrett in line to start the beginning of the season. Uh, this was needed. It, it really was, you know, we weren't, it wasn't like an absolute need to go out and get like Daniel Hunter or someone that we have to pay a massive deal to that is going to be like a monster all pro type of guy. We just needed someone that's going to be a placeholder that can be reliable. Uh, and that's what Shaq Barrett is. He's a vet. He knows what to do. Um, he's not going to get you a lot of sacks, but he's going to get you a lot of pressures, which storybook of the Dolphins defense anyway um and look he's gonna be reliable he's gonna he's had a a pretty healthy uh career uh I know he had a a, a couple of injuries with the Bucks but you know fairly healthy over the past couple years I'm hoping that translates in the beginning of the season success we will see as always, time will tell. But Greer definitely moving in the right direction, finally. You know, I think we all expected to lose Christian Wilkins and uh, Robert Hunt. The Andrew Van Ginkle one, especially for the money, really hurt a lot of us and calling for Greer's head. Um, Brandon Jones one, I, I understood that one too. Look, that one hurt a little bit, but the money just... We weren't going to pay money to him like that. Uh, especially... You know, you guys forget, we still have to extend Tua. We have to extend Waddle. We have to extend uh, Javon Holland. Like, we have to take care of these guys in the next couple years. We already took care of Sealer. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're heading in a little bit step-by-step step in the right direction. Uh, I understood losing faith like we all did. Trust me, I was depressed in that Andrew Van Gingle video and even more depressed in the Robert Hunt video. But steps in the right direction, trying to have faith. Really hard to with no success over the past 20-plus years. Trust me, I know. But got to have faith. Got There's nothing that we can do to control it. So at this point, it's kind of just praying that we see something right. All right, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Once again, we'll always keep you guys updated with the news throughout free agency. So drop a like, drop a comment, and ring the bell and get notifications for when we drop our videos. Deuces.